Yeah, Ape Nation, what it do, YouTube family, what it do. So I know I said I wasn't gonna do any more videos until 2023, and this will probably be my last video until 2023, but I just wanna do this real quick to help people better understand exactly what's going on. All right, and this is the truth, guys. This is the truth. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed time with your friends, your family, all that good stuff. Um, and this is not me trying to ruin your holiday spirit, your holiday season, but this is me telling you the truth. So I know a lot of people are having a hard time understanding why you've seen AMC go down and why you've seen Ape go up. Okay. So I'm gonna start here. We're gonna to go to Ape real quick. All right. So as we know, we gave Intera Capital an equity position of $110 million worth of Ape at an average of 66 cents, right? which comes out to be about 166 million shares of ape. So this is a form of dilution. Anytime an equity exchange like this happens, you should see the share price go down because they have to sell shares in order to do that, right? So there's a dilution that takes place. So we should have seen ape go down, not up, right? So why did Ape go up and AMC went down? I'm gonna explain to you what happened, guys. Like I said in my previous video, right? So the reason why AMC went down is because they derived the equity from AMC. So what they did was they sold millions of shares of AMC in order to quote unquote pump up ape guys this is what they did and there's something that you guys probably haven't noticed if you go to amc the number of shares in amc went up it's at 522 million now remember remember it's at 516 million now look this first candle alone right this was the first hour candle when uh the news broke and amc went down and ape went up the first candle alone was 3.76 million shares. So this is where they derived the value from to ensure Antera Capital's uh, position. So the only people that are making money or have made money in eight is A, Antera Capital, because they got it at an average of 66 cents, and they're up over 200% on their position, or B, any retail or institutional traders that bought Ape at less than a dollar or below the current price for whatever reason, and they're currently up on their position. But for everybody else that was, that was, uh, holding ape because it was basically given to us through the creation of the preferred stock we're down on our position remember it was at $10.50 on the first day so we've lost 90% of let's call it 90% of our value right or anybody that's day trading ape in and out, scalping or whatever, they made money with eight. But for the rest of us, we're losing. Interior Capital, let's just say Interior Capital is the only one that's making money in this situation, right? Let's just call it what it is. Because anybody that's a day trader, why would you day trade eight? There's so many other more liquid stocks out there that you can day trade and make money. It doesn't make sense to day trade eight. It's very illiquid. There's not enough volume in a day to be able to... Uh, they trade it successfully like that's just real but anyway that's besides the point 
So they they withdrew equity from AMC in order to pump up eight for Interior Capital. <clears throat> now let me let me ask you guys a question. This is a serious question. This is a serious question for everybody. And I want you to be honest with yourself. Do you really believe that our CEO, Adam Aaron, is displaying his 100% confidence in this company by selling 18%, 20%? at pennies on the dollar to the bondholders of AMC? Do you really think he is displaying his confidence in this company by doing it? Just think about that. About 20% of the company he just gave to the bondholders. Just think about that, guys. Seriously, seriously think about that. Any company that is confident in their growth, confident in their success, is not going to sell 20% of their company to the bondholders, the debt holders on that company for pennies on the dollar. They're just simply not going to do that. They're, they're not. And I'm, I'm going to say this because y'all need to hear this. This is the business world. This is the stock market. As a company, you cannot dilute your way to success you cannot dilute your way to success people you can't do it at the expense of the shareholders you can't do it you want to know how you become successful as a company you make more money you make more money you become profitable you expand in a way that makes you more profitable. You just simply can't dilute and dilute and dilute and dilute your way to success. It does not work like that. And it always turns out bad. Always. In every case. So let me explain this also. For those of you that believe that the reverse split is going to be good. Okay. So when we were given eight, right? Let's just say when when you were given eight, you had a thousand dollars worth of eight which would have been roughly about 100 shares, right? And I don't want you guys to think about AMC in, in, when I give this scenario real quick. Don't think about AMC. I'm talking about Ape. So let's say you had $1,000 worth of Ape on its first trading day. You had $1,000 worth of Ape, which would have been around 100 shares, Right? At that time, on the first day, Ape was trading at $10, $10.50, which is about $1,000, right? So, over time, we have seen the value of Ape diminish all the way down to $0.66, cents, guys. That's over 90% of your value gone. 90%, guys. So... 90% out of $1,000, that leaves you with $100 left. Okay, boom. Now, when we convert 
back to AMC. And then we had the reverse stock split. That 100 shares of Ape will then turn to 10 shares of AMC. So we're just talking about the Ape. We're just talking about the Ape right now. I just want you to think about the Ape, not the AMC that you have as well. Okay? Because I, I want you guys to follow me real quick. I want to make it simple so you can understand. So you have $100 worth of Ape left, right? Um, and that 100 shares will then turn to 10 shares. Let's say AMC goes to $6, $60 after the split, right? When they naked short and short this thing back down to, let's call it $6, right, right around where we're at now with AMC and 8 total, that $100 will then turn to $10. So you went from 1,000 to 100 with eight. And then from that 100 down to 10, when we get shorted back down after the conversion. Do you still believe that reverse stock split is good? There is nothing on this planet that is going to stop short sellers from shorting AMC after the reverse split. If anything, like I said before, this is going to draw in even more short sellers because a reverse split shows signs of weakness and desperation in a company. That's just the facts. And 98% of the time, whenever a company does a reverse split, it goes down in value. And what this does is destroy shareholder value. It destroys it. It destroys shareholder value. This is what it does. Just because AMC is going to go to $60, $50, whatever it goes to after the split, does not mean the shorts are going to... Guys, I need you to understand something. They were shorting the hell out of Amazon at $3,000 a share. They were shorting the living shit out of Tesla at $1,200 a share. These guys on Wall Street... They play by a different set of rules than me and you do. And the last thing they give a shit about is a share price. As a matter of fact, the higher a share price is, the more they start rubbing their hands together because that's more money for them. Do you understand? They shorted Tesla and Amazon to oblivion when they were in the thousands. These guys have billions of dollars. You, you, do you really think that the price of a share for a company matters to them? No, it does not. They're in a different league. They're in a different world, and they play by a different set of rules. Okay? Now, I'm sorry because I was a big, a big, let's just say cheerleader, for Adam Aaron over the months for the past year. But now that my eyes are open, this guy is working for the other side. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. One thing I need you guys to understand as well is that The CEO of a company's first job is to protect the debt holders of that company. See, the shareholders do not hold the debt on the company. We don't, um, Adam Aaron doesn't owe us shit. Adam Aaron does not owe the shareholders shit. He's going to protect the interests of the debt holders first because they are the true owners of the company the debt holders and Terra Capital who is a major debt holder 
He's going to look after their interests first. So when retail came along and saved this company, this is something else you guys got to think about, guys. AMC was destined for doom before retail came along and saved it. Okay, so it was basically like Adam Aaron getting free money whenever shareholders or, or retail investors came in and, and started buying up shares of AMC. AMC was about to go under, right? But you still have the bondholders, the debt holders of this company that are owed money. So he's going to look after their interest first because they are the true owners of AMC because they're in debt to AMC. So do you really think he's worried about paying paying them back and, and getting their pocket straight and his pocket straight first? Or do you think he's worried about the shareholders and their interests and, and their uh, interest in a, a short squeeze or anything like that? No. He wants to keep you here for as long as possible. As a matter of fact, he wants you putting more money into the company. Because it's, it's just buying him time. He wants this to go on for as long as he can until he can anymore. Because he wants to make sure that the debt holders are straight and not you. He wants to make sure that he is straight and not you. Keep in mind that they also want to increase in their salary come earnings. When we ain't even profitable yet, bro. Just think about that. I'm just giving everybody something to think about. Adam Aaron is not on our side. If you can't see it now, then I guess you just never will. So given everything I just said, if you still vote yes, just know what you're voting for. Just know what you're voting for given everything I just said. And this is the truth. I'm down in this play just like you guys are. I'm still holding. I'm still holding, guys. The difference is, I've already accepted this shit. And it just is what it is. I'm not even tripping. I'm not even mad. I just hate that I was blind for this long. And if you still like Adam Aaron after this, Make sure on our next earnest call, you tell him to show his faith in this company by buying shares, him and the execs, by not taking a raise, and by coming to the table with more ways to make money. Because at this point, at this moment, AMC is destined for doom as a company and he just sold off 20% of this company 
to the bondholders. There is no faith and no confidence shown in this company at all by the executives. And nobody in this community, nobody in this community can prove me wrong on that. That's all I got for this video. Have a good rest of your holidays. I love you all. Peace and blessings.